Hello everyone, welcome to the Get East Tech YouTube channel. This is the fourth video of PCPyce tutorials. And we have taught that how to download and install and the fundamentals of PCPyce and introduction of this channel in the following first videos. And today we will start to make projects about PCPyce. And if you haven't watched the following first three videos, I recommend you to watch them first. After that, you may come to this video and continue learning. And let's get started big quickly, okay? And open the Orchid cap Capture from here, and we should select Orchid Capture. We will use um, Orchid Capture in our projects, okay? And we should click the new project, and we should give a name to our project. And by the way, today we will do a bias point analysis project, and arbitrary by using an arbitrary circuit. And I will give a name of, uh, of this project bias bias point, okay? And click OK. Yes, you should select bottom one and create a blank project. This is important. And click OK. Okay, first of all, I should say you guys that how to upload libraries because when you download this Orchid program, you will not have any uh, any library, and you should come to the place part. And here there is a button of uh, place part. And you see there are a lot of libraries, but I have already downloaded the libraries. But uh, if you haven't uh, uploaded the libraries, you should do this, clicking this part, add library, or you can use Alt A, Alt plus A, click this place, and you should select all of them, Control A, and after that you should click OK, open, or open, and all libraries are coming thanks to this. And today, um, let's let's draw our circuits. Today we will use this circuits, and we need two uh, resistors. To to get a resistor, you just click. Uh, sorry, you just text R, and this is R analog, and click twice. Okay, resistor one, and to rotate your resistor, you just click the button R from your keyboard, and this is the resistor two. Okay, um, to disappear this, you just click the escape from the keyboard. Okay, after that, we just uh, sorry, we need an uh, independent current source to open a source uh, to add a source uh, to your project you should come to the source library from here and we are coming to the source library okay you see there are a lot of libra libraries yes okay source and yes okay we need a dc current source independent dc current source and we are looking that and there is a current source and 0m dc current source and click twice Okay, and our current source will uh, look uh, to the up, not down. To make it to uh, click twice the button R to rotate your independent current source and click escape again. And okay, after that, we just uh, need a one capacitor and one DC voltage. Okay, to get a DC voltage, just click the VDC and you will get a DC voltage source. And Put your DC voltage to here and okay. Sorry, we should delay it. Okay, and we need a capacitor to get a capacitor. Just click the cap C. Okay, yeah, sorry, click C and C analog and rotate your capacitor and put your capacitor here. Okay. Okay, to make it closer, do this operation and uh, click escape again. And to wire your co components, just put, sorry, just uh, push the uh, W letter. And when you push the W letter, and wire operation is coming. And it is continuing, and yeah. Connect your components, like I've done here, okay? Uh, we are still con connecting them each other, okay? And that's it. Click escape button. You can, sorry, you can take this here because it is not uh, looking good. And after that, the most important thing is that you have to add a ground. Okay, there is a library which is uh, contain which contains um, ground and power uh, indicators and capsim library. This is a capsim library. Okay, and this is our ground. And take your ground and put your ground here. Okay and wire it here okay 
our server code is ready, but we have to give the values of our circuits. And let's continue me. We should have a 20 volt DC for this project, and we will have 10k ohm. Yeah, resistor one and resistor two should have 10k ohm. Okay, and our capacitor will have um, five microfarads. Okay, five U. You don't have to uh, write F. You don't necessary to do this. Okay, five Q is enough. And our independent current source will have one milliamp DC. And to make it delete to zero and write one milliamp DC. That's it. Okay, everything is ready. Uh, just we do, uh, we have to do the next step is that opening a new simulation profile. Profile. Okay, to make it come to the piece piece button from the toolbar. And click the new simulation profile and give a name to your simulation and I will give a name uh, to our project bias bias points because this is a bias point analysis and cre create a simulation and okay this window are going to pop up and you should select a piece bias AD AD is the abbreviation of analog and digital and click OK and this is going to be a Bias point analysis, you should uh, select your analysis type from here. You see there are different analysis types, but we should select bias points. And OK, just click OK, that's it, you don't have to make anything. And everything is ready, you just, you, you can run your pr uh, project. OK, to see, to see the voltage and current values, and it is coming. OK, there are some values. OK, you see. Uh, there are voltage values and current values uh, you can you can see everything in this uh, circuit um, also uh, you may you may obtain this circuit in your breadboard and I mean not a simulation um, you can draw these circuits originally and you can uh, you can detect the voltage values by using multimeter and you, you I am sure that you will observe 20 volt here in the multimeter and 15 volt here and 0 volt you see the ground station and 1 milliamp and 500 pico m and 1.500 milliamp uh, you will observe all values correctly and this is a simulation program but if you want you can observe everything in in real life okay that's it for today see you in the next video